Good morning. Today's intentions are for Janet, Edwin, and Andrea Winkle. Good morning, everyone. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sin and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have really sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, every virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brother and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord of God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Enable us, we pray, Almighty God, to proclaim the power of the risen Lord, that we who have received the place of his gift may come to possess all gifts when it's fully revealed through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who live and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The community of believers was one heart and mind, and no one claimed that any of his possessions was his own, but they had everything in common. With great power, the apostles bore witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great favor was accord them all. There was no needy person among them, for those who own properties or houses would sell them, bring the proceeds of the sale, and put them at the feet of the apostles. And they were distributed to each according to need. Thus Joseph, also named by the apostles Barnabas, which is translated son of the encouragement, a Levite, I sip right, <clears throat> by birth, sold a piece of property that he owned, then brought the money and put it at the feet of the apostles. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> the Lord is king. He is robed in majesty. The Lord is king. He is robed in majesty. The Lord is king in splendor robed. Robed is the Lord and girt about, about with strength. The Lord is king. He is robed in majesty. And he has made the world firm not to be moved. Your throne stands firm from of old, from Everlasting you are, O Lord. The Lord is king, he is robed in majesty. Your decrees are worthy of trust indeed. Holiness befits your house, O Lord, your length of days. The Lord is king, he is robed in majesty. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The 
Son of Man must be lifted up, so that everyone who believes in him may have eternal life. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you and with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you. Jesus said to Nicodemus, You must be born from above. The wind blows where it wills, and you can hear it, the sound it makes, but you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So is it with everyone who is born of the Spirit. Nicodemus answered and said to him, How can this happen? Jesus answered and said to him, You are the teacher of Israel, and you do not understand this. Amen, amen, I say to you, we speak of what we know, and we testify of what we have seen, but you people do not accept our testimony. If I tell you about earthly things and you do not believe, how will you believe if I tell you about heavenly things? No one has gone up to heaven except the one who has come down from heaven the Son of Man. And just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the desert, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, so that everyone who believes in him may have eternal life. The Gospel of the Lord. As we listen to today's scriptures, today's readings, in the Acts of the Apostles, we see, um, you could say, maybe a perfect, a perfect life, a perfect way of living. Everything that is mine is yours. That's basically what they were say, what they would do. And so, it, it's a really, you know good way to live, a really good way to understand um, what would be of giving totally of yourself. You know, a lot of times we can give a lot of things. Uh, we give perhaps maybe, um, you know, food. We give perhaps sometimes maybe um, uh, clothing. But sometimes when it comes to giving our money, it comes a little bit harder because <laughs> we think that we work for this and this belongs to me. And it really doesn't. We worked hard for it, yes. We have received it, yes. But it still, you know, really belongs to God because God is the one that puts us in the opportunity to earn this money. But, <clears throat> but the apostles didn't. They had properties and they sold and they had their whatever they had. You know, even uh, Barnabas, you know, who, who was just uh, a disciple, you know, he does the same thing. He begins, he sells his, his uh, property and he brings it and puts it at the feet of the apostles so that they can all share what one has. And that is something that we must perhaps work on, on, on a little bit. And in the gospel, we hear again, Nicodemus is still talking with Jesus as he was talking with him. And uh, we heard that yesterday. And again, he's still, still trying to figure out what he's trying to tell us, what he's trying to, under, what he's trying to tell us that how we must be reborn again. And we are to be reborn through our baptism. This is what he's telling them. You know, it's the, our beginning of a Christian life comes through our baptism, where we are become children of God. We are adopted children of God and become his, his believers. And so we must be able to understand that what God has given us during this time in our baptism is also to be shared with others. God has given us the spirit that brings us 
closer to him. And this spirit that we have received must be also shared, just like the things that we have that belong that we have received from God, we also must also we also receive the spirit, we also must share the spirit to others that perhaps don't know him, or for others perhaps that have been drifted away from their baptism. The call of their baptism maybe has vanished from their presence. We must be able to recall them that in our baptism we become children of God. And we become to share what God has given us, you know, our work or our, our whatever we have received, you know, whatever it is that we have, our talents that we have received from God to share those with others. So let us be mindful of our baptism as we are baptized into the faith of love, a faith of sharing, a, a, faith of, a, a faith of believing that my life here will end physically, but my spirit and soul will go home to the Lord. So we ask God to give us this sharing, to be conscious of it, to make us understand that what we receive from God, we will share. As sisters and brothers in Christ, we gather our prayers and petition and offer them to our Heavenly Father. For the Church and all believers, may the Holy Spirit always be our guide. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For civil and religious leaders, may God speak wisdom into their hearts as Jesus did to Nicodemus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayers. prayers. For those who are trapped in physical or spiritual bondage, may life in the Spirit lead to freedom and redemption. Let us pray to the Lord. For this faith community, may God inspire us in our life of community, prayer, and generosity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. prayers. For the faithful departed, may God lead them into the glory of his kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayers. prayers. And, for today's, and for today's special intentions, we pray for Janet, Edwin, and Andrea Winkle. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. Father of all goodness, we ask that you listen to our prayers and answer them according to your will, through your Son, Jesus our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your wounds we have received the bread we offer you, brought to the earth and water the human hands, that will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and word of the human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Then. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. 
the praise and glory of his name for our good and good of all his church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find the light in these Paschal mysteries, so that they renew constantly at work within, within us, may be the cause of our unending joy to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the letter of God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to love you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our dead and by raising, 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 restored our life. Therefore, Overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people, exhaling your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn to your glory, as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon the light of your fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, entered while into his passion, he took bread giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, but this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he got it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Lord, Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Giving thanks that you have held us worthy to win your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, pray to all the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Kevin our Bishop and all your clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome that into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, committed to be coerced with eternal life and my prize in glorifying you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, God Almighty Father, the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we are to say, Our Father, who art Lord in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will, will be done, done 
on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, gradually grant peace in our days, but that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom and the power and the, and the glory country, are yours are now, now and, forever. and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church. And Christ will grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit, let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of the world. world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Spiritual communion prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come and lead spiritually into my heart. I embrace you, and if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me be separate from you. Amen. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers, that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring you help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness to Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. The Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let us pray the prayer of St. Michael, the Archangel. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be your protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, O Prince of the Most Heavenly Host. 
by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits that prowl around the world, seeking the ruins of souls. Amen. <clears throat> Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.